Hey, what's going on everybody? Today, we're gonna to be showing you how to get around this right here. So, if you've been trying to install Windows 11, you know that there are a ton of new requirements that Microsoft wants you to have in order to install Windows 11. All these minimum system requirements and secure boot and TPM, all that kind of stuff. And the simple matter is, most computers don't have secure boot TPM enabled and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, it's kind of a pain to get around that. So what we can do about this in a virtual box, that's what we are in today, is we can actually kind of trick the system here uh, to go around that. Now originally I made a video uh, where you had to upgrade from Windows 10 and kind of like mix ISOs together. Well I found this new way here, it's a lot more simple. So let's go ahead and go over it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go into our VirtualBox Manager and we want to go into the settings for the VM. So you actually do need to have some minimum system requirements, but the good news is you can enable a lot of those in the VirtualBox settings. So let's go ahead and go over what you need to have at least. So if you go up here to the System tab, you need to make sure that you have at least 4096 megabytes of RAM, which is about four gigabytes. So that is the minimum RAM requirement for Windows 11. So you wanna make sure you set it to at least the 4096 megabytes. The second thing you wanna have is enable EFI for special OS's only. So Windows 11 needs this checked in VirtualBox in order for it to run. So basically you can see uh, what it does right there. It will support the extended firmware interface, which is required to reboot certain OSs. So you need to have this box checked right here. Next thing is if you go to processor, you need to have at least two CPUs enabled right here. And also you wanna enable the PAE slash NX option right here. And then the final thing is under storage, you want to make sure, and I guess you actually need to do this when you are creating the new VM, you want to make sure that you give it at least 64 gigabytes of storage. And then last but not least, we can head over to display, and on the video memory, you want to make sure that you enable 3D acceleration and have the VBox SVGA right there. And then you want to drag it all the way over to the right for video memory to where it's the maximum over here. So in my case, that's 256 megabytes. And once you get all those requirements done here, you can just hit OK and it'll save your settings for you. And you should be able to go ahead and start up your virtual machine. Now it's going to boot up. Obviously we've already done this. We're gonna hit boot from a CD and it's gonna go back to the Windows setup again. So let's give it a second here. And Windows 11, of course, boots up into the setup. So obviously it's going to have your language, everything. We just want to hit next on that. And before we hit the install now button, this is where we're going to do a little bit of work. So what you want to do, and I'm on a Mac, so I got to hit function, shift, and then F10. Uh, I guess if you're on a PC, you just hit shift F10 or maybe function. I'm not sure, but... Anyways, shift plus F10 or function shift F10, whatever you need to do to get the command prompt to pop up. And once you get the command prompt to pop up, we're gonna type in R-E-G-E-T-I-T, -E and then we're gonna hit enter. And this is the command to bring up the registry editor. Okay, so we're gonna add in some new keys and things here in order to bypass some of the Windows 11 checks that prevent our PC or virtual machine from being able to run Windows 11. So there's a folder right here that says hkey underscore local machine. You wanna click on that drop down arrow right there. And then you're gonna see some more folders up here. We're then gonna go into the system folder right here. And then we're gonna to go to the setup folder right here. Now when we open up our setup folder, we should see a few things in there, but what we're gonna do is actually just right click on the setup and we're going to hit new and we're gonna hit key. 
So this is going to put in a new folder here, and we're going to call this folder lab config, just like that. And you hit enter to change the name of it. So now we've got a new folder here, and we're going to go ahead and add in a few things. So if you want to right click on new folder and go to new, we're going to select the D word 32 bit value. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add in three of these values here. So the first one, we're going to simply call it bypass TPM check. And then you hit enter and there you go. Again, we're going to click on the lab config. You right click on it. We'll go to new and the 32 bit value. And this next one, we'll call it bypass RAM check. And then one more time, right click 32 bit value. And we're going to call this one bypass secure boot check. And there we go. Now what we're going to do is on each of these, we're going to right click, we'll hit modify, and where it says value data, just simply type one. And then you can either hit the enter key or click OK. And it's going to change that value to one. So we'll go ahead and do the exact same thing on these other two right here. And there you go. So these three items right here are going to bypass the TPM, the RAM, and the secure boot check. Obviously, TPM and Secure Boot are the biggest problems. Most people don't have those enabled, and that's what prevents Windows 11 from wanting to install. So, once you got all those added in to your folder there, you can simply close out of the registry editor, and then here in Command Prompt, we can simply type in the exit command and hit Enter in order to close that. And now, if this all worked properly, we can click Install Now, and we should be able to install Windows 11 without getting any error messages. So we don't have a product key. Let's click on that. And we're just going to choose a random version of Windows, just whatever's on there. You can pick whatever you want, but I'm just doing this obviously for testing purposes. And if you see the license agreement come up, that means that this is going to work. So we can hit accept terms just like that. We'll hit next and we should see the yeah, which type of installation. We just hit custom and you click on the storage you allocated for the machine. You hit next and there we go guys. So that is how you basically get around the this PC can't install Windows 11. All you got to do is head into that registry editor, add those few things, and you should be good to go. So yeah guys, let me know what you think of this video. If you have any problems, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to help you the best that I can. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching the channel as always, and I will catch you all in the next video.